Representative Crawford. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Mr. Secretary, for being here. Continuing on with that theme, you recently announced a billion-dollar program aimed at combating alleged racism in road projects. At the same time, DOT is actively supporting the construction of the doomed California high-speed rail project, despite reports that indicate the project is, in fact, displacing and destroying low-income minority communities in the track's path. So my question is, why are you dismantling existing highways in the name of racial equity while you're also supporting a project that's actively harming low-income minority communities? So every project has an impact. And what we think the law provides for is a process for local communities to weigh in on how those impacts affect them. And unless there is a civil rights violation, in which case my department, of course, will very proactively address it, then it falls to the project sponsor to decide how to balance those concerns. But in terms of the highway work, the, the way I view it is, if federal dollars were ever used in a way that separates or segregates, then a pretty good use of federal dollars now would be to connect and to address those harms. And my view also is that the entire community, not just those who were disadvantaged, is better off when a community is served by transportation infrastructure that does, in fact, connect more than it divides. Well, that sounds pretty good rhetorically, but in reality, what we know is that this money pit in California that's largely being subsidized by federal tax dollars is doing exactly what you purport to prevent with this billion dollar allocation. So I think that that is worth revisiting at some point to determine if in fact that's it's, certainly that's happening. Is it is that a good expenditure of money?